Mandalorian, apparently you can't talk about it. But you... Well, I can't say what happens. Okay, you can't say what happens, but... Tell, tell me what you can. Let's, let's say that. What can um, you say about it? I can tell you it looks sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like everybody else. Like, I've always been, like, a sports fan, and I, I was, you know, uh... I didn't grow up on Star Wars. Right. I, I kind of, by the time I discovered it was out there, I was more into my fast times at Ridgemont High. Mm -hmm. So, you know, teenage years. So, and they were into Ewoks at that point. So it just didn't connect. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but I did, Empire Strikes Back, I did like. Um, so I don't know. I just, um, how the hell did it come together? <laughs> just yeah. over the years of getting to know Mike Binder and working with Vince Vaughn company on and uh, Peter Billingsley with F is for family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eventually you're gonna meet John Favreau which mm -hmm. I did and that's how I ended up doing that episode of his cooking show mm -hmm. we had a good time you get along so much of this business is meeting somebody it's like oh, I like this guy I could yeah. be on the set mm -hmm. with this guy for you know <laughs> yeah. 12 yeah. hours a day yeah. uh, 14 sometimes and uh, <laughs> I was at Mike Binder's birthday party and John was there he said hey man he goes I'm doing the next Star Wars I was like oh wow that's great and <laughs> yeah. he goes uh would you ever want to do like a partner or something like that? <laughs> and I kind of laughed. I was like, dude, you know I always make fun of those Star Wars people <laughs> yeah. trying to annoy them every time one of those movies comes out, you know, just to be a dick. <laughs> and uh, he goes, no, I think it'd be funny because I think it'd be funny if the people that listen to your podcast actually saw you on that. And I, and I was just like, really? And, and, you know, my wife was there. She's like, yes, yeah, say yes. <laughs> yeah, so I go, All, right. Say yes. All right, I'll do it. You got it. And um, <laughs> yeah, well, see, but my, my, my Star Wars was like the Magnificent Seven. It was like uh, mm -hmm. the Great Escape, Bridge Over the River Kwai, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, um, Cool Hand Luke. That's what I grew up on. Those oh, yeah. those were the the movies that I I loved, and I loved all of those. Um, you know Kelly's Heroes, um, all of that stuff. It was the stuff, the Dirty Dozen, mm -hmm. I, and all of those. That's what I grew up on, and that's what I loved. And uh, so I, I don't know. I just I, I didn't understand as weird right. as this is the magnitude yes. of uh, something like that because John just kept laughing at me. He goes, "Dude, you don't understand. You don't <laughs> it's understand." The biggest, like, it's, yeah, it's the dude. Then I went in this thing. super creepy thing where you just stand there and there's like a zillion like this is just like you know when they go to do the action figure thing like there's like a, a like oh. they like rendered your body just, right. Camera, 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 mm. camera, camera, camera. That's and then serious stuff. And then you stand there and you're just like, oh my God, did I just give away my DNA to <laughs> Disney? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> so what's the purpose of that? To CGI your body? Like, that seems pretty serious. I don't know. Special I don't know what the purpose of it was. <laughs> but I was just sort of led in there, and that's yeah. kind of what you did. And that's I guess... They make an action figure or something? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> we're going to get Bill and Bear started. I don't know. That was... Uh, oh. It sounds pretty serious. Let me ask you this. Are you? But I'll, I'll tell you this. But then I, I, when I went down there, it was uh, Rick, uh, Rick Famuyiwa is the one who uh, directed it. And he just was, I don't want to say how he was shooting, but how he was shooting it was so cool. And uh, it was like, I mean, you saw the trailer, you know, the yeah. trooper heads on yeah. the stakes and Amazing. stuff. This is, yeah, this is like, was it was the, badass. Was, was this the craziest shoot you've been on? I mean, it doesn't really get crazier budget than Star Wars, does it? Uh, no. It no, doesn't. I, I, I don't know. If, like, there was a room that they had. I mean, I mean, are you, are you allowed to talk about the technology? Yeah. It's just like you walked into the room and then the door closed around you and you were just surrounded by this giant green screen, and then mm -hmm. they just projected like all of, uh, all of this stuff. The whole wow. world. Yeah, so you'd be talking to somebody. If I <laughs> yeah. move like this, like the background move behind oh you, you get like vertical. No way. What? Yeah. So That's crazy. Uh, I heard they had. I heard it's the the highest budget show ever made. Right, Dan. What was the budget on that thing? Like twenty five million I an think episode. It's, uh, like fifteen or twenty mil an episode. Like so, more yeah. than Game of Thrones per. Oh episode. my god! But well, I gotta tell you this: if you see the trailer, like he sh when he showed me the trailer, because you know you're always like, you're you know, you're you're just like this close to it. You don't even know what's going right. on, mm -hmm. and also they just give you like your sides for the scene. You, mm -hmm. you don't know what's going on, for the most part. And then like on my last day, fortunately, my episode I think was far enough into the season where they had a rough cut of the trailer. Mm. And uh, he showed it to the whole crew on that big round thing. Mm. And uh, the last scene I was doing, I was way up on this, I don't know what the hell it is, scaffolding type thing. So I was standing up there 
just watching this the size of a brownstone you know mm. projection of it and i was just like that's when i that's when i got excited that's and i was awesome. and i went from like hey this is pretty cool to like oh my god i can't believe i'm gonna be in this yeah and uh but it's funny because i got a bunch of uh friends of mine who don't care about sports and are totally like right. nerding out for this thing so they they yeah. they were just like oh what the fuck you're in that thing and i had a buddy of mine joe DeRosa, who is not into sports at all and i remember years ago he said to me hey you know i uh, he goes i had drinks with this guy the other night he's uh he works for the Yankees, uh, <laughs> Joe uh, <laughs> Tally or something. And I was just like, Joe Torrey? <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. He's a cool guy. So you had fucking drinks with Joe Torrey? Right. Joe probably loved him because he didn't ask so many baseball questions. Yeah. So when he gave me shit about being in it, yeah. he yeah. goes, you got to be kidding me. You're in this shit. What the fuck? You don't even watch these movies and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, Joe, you had drinks with Joe Torrey. And he was just like, all right, all right. That's, like that's the universe coming back to me. So, um, but it was, um, it was like, it was really like really fun scenes uh, a lot of lot to go, lot going on, and and the people, other actors that I got to work with. It was pretty. It was pretty. Aw- I'm not gonna lie. To you, it was pretty. Uh, I'm excited. It was intense. Yeah. It was definitely long days, like a lot of stuff like that. But it was. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be sick. I'm excited. And I kind of have this this running theme. If you look at my IMDb page, mm-hmm. where I sort of somehow parrot troop into these really cool really things for like a second. Right. A couple <laughs> yeah. sketches on Chappelle's show. A couple yeah. episodes right. of Breaking Bad. And I just yeah. started like, hey. You got like the, <laughs> most, uh, yeah. the most accomplished IMDb yeah, without Record really ever. being in it. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing. You've it's like it. I always feel like when I yeah. get on these things, I won like a radio contest or something. Like, hey, you play a. You know, I don't even know what the reference is to Star Wars. I was gonna say play a stormtrooper. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you nailed it. See, you're part of the. You're in now. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I, 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 you know, I was thinking. I was like, there's no way that Disney is gonna get me to pony up for their premium. I was like, "There's no way I'm." I'm oh, that's, that's that's the greatest money that they could have. Because mm-hmm. I, I'm exactly. not in that world, but I did a thing one time at Comic Con um, when Breaking Bad had this this uh, ten year thing, and they asked me if I wanted to host it. I was like, "Absolutely, mm. totally mm. honored." And when I went down there to Comic Con, it was just like it was a whole other world. I was just mm. like, mm-hmm. "Jesus Christ!" And the uh, the kids down there, I call them kids. I'm 51. <laughs> they were like, they were really cool. Just <laughs> how like into shows. And how much they appreciate it. And there was a couple of efforts for family fans down there. For some reason, we've never done, with an animated show, we've never done a Comic-Con. And I know, like, all the writers and Mike Price, co-creator of the show, he really wants to do it. So I'm hoping at some point. That'd be great. Yeah, we get to go down there because, uh, you know, they're... It's a whole universe. Yeah. It is. You know, there's there's people that grew up reading the comics and uh, I'm not... I, I wasn't into it, but I've heard people describing it like... Howard Stern, I listened to, and he talks about he grew up on comics like they were his, you know, second dad. He was. Oh yeah. It's like really that ingrained. So. Yeah. You're some in it my, now. Some of my siblings were really into him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Comic books. I I never quite got into. Them. I like the drawings. Me too. Yeah. I, I would. How strong they look at me. I love the Wish drawings. I was that strong, but other than that, I just want to go outside and play. I yeah. could never read one, but I had a few just for the drawings. Yeah. 